Your soldering iron should be tinned and ready to go. If you don't know how to do that, I'm gonna put the video over here. Go do that first and then come back and watch this one. The first thing we're gonna need to do is strip the wires. They make nippers for this that are really, really awesome. But since you guys are starting out, I'm gonna try and keep your cost down. So just a regular pair of nippers should be fine. These are flush cut and I love these. I use these for so many different things. And the way to use these when you're trying to strip your wire is just to basically make indentations around the wire itself. Make sure that you don't cut any of the wires. And then I have no hand strength at all. Uh, sometimes you can twist and pull this off, but I can't. So what I'm gonna do is just pull it off with the actual pair of nippers itself and voila, good to go. Just as a side note, make sure that you don't strip your wire until you're basically just about ready to solder. The reason for this is with the exposure to the air and everything else, your wires can oxidize and it'll make soldering a problem because it won't adhere correctly. So soldering is a very quick process. You're going to apply the heat to whatever it is that you're soldering, apply the solder to whatever it is that you're soldering, and then the transferred heat is going to melt the solder and you're done. Fast, right? What it's doing is it's basically wicking its way in between the wires and then coating them, and that's how you tin your wire. So why are we tinning the wire? First, it's gonna make your connection stronger when you're soldering to other wires or to a board. The other reason is that it's going to bind all of the wires together. So if you are putting it through the hole in a board, it's going to be so much easier. If you think about it like threading a needle, if you have one piece of thread and you're trying to put it through the needle, that's going to be way easier than if you take like five pieces of thread and try to put them through the needle at the same time. So next week, we're gonna connect this wire to the board and I am super excited to show you that. If this video has been helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you want to catch up on the playlist with all the other soldering videos, I'm going to pop it up over here. And if you want to be in the loop for next week's video when it comes out, subscribe up here and I will see you guys then. Okay, bye.